Welcome to BSW's Tech Dive. Tech, tech Dive. Submerge the ship. The show goes technically deep into products you care about. <laughs> the new, the old, the newish. So put on your gear, close up the hatch, and prepare to dive. Dive. Submerge the ship. And now, here's John. Welcome to this edition of BSW Tech Dive. I am John Lynch, Director of Business Development for Broadcast Supply Worldwide and BSWUSA.com. Today, we're talking radio automation, and our guest is Alex Bonello. Oh, wait a minute. You're used to Alex Bonello being on here talking about HDV Mixer. Yeah, and you would be correct. But this is another product available from Insoft LLC, called InSoft Automation. So let's talk about InSoft Automation, which the product is new to the USA, but not really new in that sense. They've got a lot of experience involved in this. And Alex, tell us how InSoft Automation came about. Well, uh, we've been doing automation for, for 20 years myself, um, uh, but those were previous generation automation systems that you had to install in the computer um, uh, that you were going to run it in each workstation. Um, these were Windows-based, um, and they had to be operated in those computers. Uh, in 2017, we started working on a new generation of automation system, uh, which has user interfaces based on uh, web browsers. Uh, you still have all your servers on premise. You still have uh, all your file servers, your databases, and the hosting for that web page on premise. Uh, but uh, the users access the system through a web page, which means that now you can run the radio automation uh, software and you can have workflows uh, to ingest uh, new assets um, and, and to prepare the daily log, to voice track from any computer, any device actually, that has a web browser. So these are the next generation um, automation systems and InSoft automation is, is, is we guess, the first uh, system out there uh, leveraging the, the web in, in a radio workflow. Now, for this, you know, we're used to either really large systems or really tiny systems designed to do one single station. And where does InSoft automation fall into that bracket? Well, um, w w we can go from small stations with only one workstation with the database and the file server in, in that only one computer um, that will do everything uh, in it. Uh, two systems, much bigger systems with 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 database servers, file servers, um, and, and 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 controlling multiple sequencers and and on-air stations simultaneously. Right. Um, we can also do ad replacements for syndicated stations. Um, so, so, so we start with very small stations, and we end up having products uh, for, for, for very, very large operations as well. Um, so it sounds kind of like HDV Mixer in the sense you can start like this, but then you can keep going up here. Absolutely. You can start small, uh, yeah, and, 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 yeah, and go and move, move uh, up the, la the ladder. Um, and, and, and also, even starting small, we give you tools that no one else is giving you uh, because you have... Uh, out of the gecko uh, music scheduling software. So if you don't have uh, music scheduling software, we will provide InSoft Automation with music scheduling, uh, which will be more basic, right? It's still uh, clock-based, but it will be more simpler than advanced automation, uh, music, uh, sorry, music uh, scheduling uh, systems that you may have. Um, the same goes for traffic. Uh, we do have a traffic uh, offering. So if you don't have a powerful uh, traffic and billing software already in place, you can use ours, which, which, which certainly for small stations, it's great because uh, sometimes small stations don't even have 
uh, traffic scheduling and, 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 and nowadays working in a station without traffic scheduling is so difficult. But it sounds like whether it's music scheduling or traffic and billing, whether it's somebody else's system or within yours, InSoft Automation can deal with it. Absolutely. Seamlessly, we can integrate. Uh, yeah. So, so we, we don't need to change any other workflow for a station. Thinking on implementing uh, InSoft Automation, they will just be switching the automation and that's it. Right? What about uh, all the additional things that are happening so much in radio today, like HD channels, streaming, etc.? Well, certainly for all those, uh, th th we are we call them uh, additional sequencers. So we have multiple on-air channels uh, with their own commercial breaks um, and their own logs, um, and you can have as many as as, as you need. Um, so so that's super super cool. Uh, you can control them all uh, from one place, accessing the same uh, uh, media library. Um, so, so yeah, so, so that's, that's, that's built into, 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 into the thread, if you will, of, of InSoft Automation. So you have elements that you can do at a small level, at a large level, you can coordinate it with the, uh, with what your client needs. And of course, that's where we get into, we do a lot more of this now than we used to say 20 years ago in this business, pre-sale conferences that sets up everything. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah, absolutely. Actually, nowadays everything changed due to the internet and the connectivity, right? Now, now you can you can do pre-sales, uh, post-sales support uh, by accessing the customer's computer. So we've been doing that for HDV Mixer. Uh, we have for the first year unlimited amount of hours of support. Uh, in HDU Mixer and of course in install automation as well. Um, so if the customer wants, we install in each of their computers uh, a, a team viewer license um, and that way we can access the computers while we are giving the training, while we are showing uh, any staff member how something should be done or if they have any questions, we can log in and help them out with anything they need. Uh, for an unlimited amount of hours the first year. Um, so that's that's also cool and, and, and comes with InSoft. Uh, well, and radio. that's really important today because you have certain customers, could be like, uh, like a community radio station. They may have 50 different volunteers that are on the air at different times during the week. You got to train them all and you can do that. Absolutely, you can do that. And by the way, we've worked very, very hard in the user interface to make it as simple as possible. Um, so we hired specialists in user interface design. Um, it's it's almost a first for this industry to to have that look and feel that that you yeah, that you see in, in in very polished products from from Google and from Apple. Um, and and these guys make sure that that if you have a button uh, that's next to another one that that does a feature that's very very different, then the color has to be different or or they have to be uh, farther away so that no one will confuse one button with the other one. And and that way uh, you avoid errors. On on the air and, and and certainly the user interface is very very simple to use and that's something that we wanted um, our idea is that anyone with five minutes of training can uh, go live uh, with uh, InSoft automation on a show um, so 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 that was the goal in mind when we designed the, the, the user experience Alex and I have known each other for several years. When he says five minutes, I think he means anybody except me. <laughs> so, I, well, I take a little yeah. more training than uh, a lot of people. Well, do. the, the, the persona that we designed the software for is someone with 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 no prior knowledge of of radio or broadcast. Someone that was working at a, a burger joint uh, like like yesterday. So certainly, you are a very experienced. Uh, uh, radio personality so so you would just pick it up yeah uh, really really fast and of course you have the elements that are traditional in automation live assist when you're doing a live morning show for example running the station entirely with uh the rest of the day parts and plus also taking care of all of the other stations because hd channels now are becoming 
very ubiquitous. A lot of stations are doing it that way, and they need this kind of capability as well. Yeah, absolutely. From the same user interface, you can select which station uh, you wanna you wanna control from a drop down menu, uh, and when you are in that station, that you can select whether you are in live assist mode or you are totally manual, and you can you want to control everything, and you want the system to to be keeping up with 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 with, with your with your log. You want to do it manually or just go in the auto mode and and. And, and the system will make sure that, that you will hit all your uh, exact time marks on time, right? And as you uh, mentioned, it's web control. And as opposed to web, how things were done previously. That's right. Everything is web control. And it's very, very important to say that although it's a web page, uh, the server for that web page is on premise. So what what that means is that if you if your internet goes down, your operations are still on the air. Uh, everyone inside the station, everyone inside the building can access those those web pages. They can still do voice tracking. They can still uh, prepare the log for tomorrow and 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 be on the air right in, in the control room. Uh, of course, they won't be able to ingest stuff or do voice tracking from the outside world if the internet is not working. But but the system is working and operational uh, inside the facilities. As we've seen for the last few years, security is a huge concern. Malware, ransomware, etc. Yeah, that, that scares us and scares our customers so, so much that, that when we design ease of automation, uh, we've decided to make it malware uh, immune as much as possible by design. So, so basically uh, what we've done is uh, an architecture where the servers cannot be accessed and the only access point, uh, the only interaction with the outside world, it's a web page. Uh, so when you want to ingest uh, a new track, a new sweeper, a new ID, you will open the library on, on Insult Automation web page and you will drag and drop the file, uh, much in the same way as you would attach an email to, to, to your Gmail account. Uh, so once you do that, uh, Insult Automation will make sure that that file is healthy, that that file is a media file. So uh, it can only contain audio or video. If it contains anything else that audio, video or pictures, uh, then it won't allow you to ingest it. Uh, so that way we're shielding uh, your entire uh, radio automation operations from any outside thread uh, as much as possible. The product is InSoft Automation, available from us here at bswusa.com. You can call us also at the phone number up above me. InSoft Automation from the same people who bring you HDV Mixer, InSoft USA. LLC.com. Alex, thanks for joining us. I'm John Lynch, and thank you for joining us for this edition of BSW Tech Dive.